hello hello it's uh december 27th i hope everyone had a great uh holiday season um we're gearing up of course for uh new year's eve i'm here at the uh, uh this is the last toronto uh, comic show um and uh this is uh this is a pretty big one it's free admission uh and it's the big bash at the end of the year uh usually there's some uh, crazy deals people are just trying to get rid of stuff um before the new year begins so j-man is here with me uh so um i hope to get some pretty cool stuff uh, i'm excited to see what's in there uh can't wait All right, just got back from the comic show. Uh, Jamie and I um, uh, scoured the place and got what we uh, we wanted. Um, it's a pretty good show. It's uh, there's a lot of cool, weird um, stuff that's like way discounted down. Um, pretty fun. Uh, free admission. That was that was good. That's always good. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff. Um, first of all, I got a bunch of um, Superman's and, and action comics. Um, all of which uh, have some sort of appearance of the Lexor storyline. I love the Lexor story in Superman, where um, Lex Luthor uh, basically is the hero of a of a different planet where Superman is powerless and he has a family and all that stuff. I've always loved that whole storyline, and they ended it uh, just before um, Crisis with um, Superman accidentally destroying the planet by shooting um some sort of energy rod that uh alex luther had implanted into the um the planet to power it uh it creates a chain reaction and uh and blows up the entire planet and then luther's out for revenge the whole lexor storyline is where the power suit comes from uh which was made famous by the um the superpowers uh uh toy line so Anyways, um, some of the comics that um, had an appearance of Lexor or furthered the Lexor storyline. Um, Action Comics, number 318. This is pretty cool. Um, this is the Action Comics 319. Dun dun dun, Superman's Condemned. Uh, Action Comics uh, 365. The, the art on these is great, man. Uh, ac uh, Action Comics 333. They all see him as a big dragon, I guess. That's awesome. Um, Superman 168. This is cool because uh, um, they all think that Superman is a villain um, on Lexor. That's what... what um, Lex Luthor tells everybody. Okay, so those are the, are the Supermans I got. Um, I picked up this uh, Black Mark because it just looked fun. Um, yet another sword and sorcery thing Marvel um, did uh, in, in one of their big um, Marvel preview magazines. Um, all new graphic novel masterpiece. Uh, this looks fun. I'm going to totally read the heck out of this. looks great. Um, I have Octopussy. I don't have For Your Eyes Only. Uh, I thought I did, but I don't. Uh, so I picked this one up. Um, you know, pretty awesome. I, I, in full color, too. That's pretty good. 
Uh, so I'll um, I'll totally read the heck out of this. Uh, For Your Eyes Only is a great movie. It's one of the great Bond movies. So the comic version should be awesome. I picked up a bunch of Savage Swords. So uh, just random ones I don't have. So uh, 160, 138. That the the uh, the art on these is incredible, especially the covers here. Uh, 137. These are like the later ones. 139. That's awesome. Look at that two shot, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know what number this is. Oh, 38. It's right there, blind ass. Uh, so there you go. Uh, 77. This is awesome, man. He's fighting this big crocodile monster, man. The art is incredible on these covers. Uh, 145. We've got the uh, the the winged uh, Viking helmet there. Uh, 153 and 76. And this is number 28. This is an earlier one. Uh, so yeah, those are the Savage Swords I got this time around. Um, I hadn't realized this. I, I, I love the movie Explorers, like the old 80s one. I, no one really talks about it anymore. It's about uh, a bunch of kids that create, um, a spaceship and they go into space and they meet, um, an alien that's been giving them, like, a, a signal to come meet them. And, um, it's basically, it's, it's the space version of Goonies. They made all sorts of different, uh, variations of Goonies. I hadn't realized they made a storybook. <laughs> I, 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 this is incredible. Uh, cause no one cares about this movie. Um, so yeah, explores the storybook. Uh, the adventure begins in your own backyard. Yeah, they like, they, they make a spaceship. It's like scenes from the movie and everything. Um, here's, uh, one of the aliens. Uh, I won't give away what the, what the big reveal is, but, um, but yeah, no, it's it's pretty incredible, man. This it, it, is like a piece of Explorer's merchandise. So last but not least, let me dig it out. Ta-da! So Fantastic Four, number 67. Uh, first appearance of him, but him is Adam Warlock. Um, this is the famous cocoon here. Um... This isn't in the greatest condition. That's why I'm able to get it. <laughs> it's it's yellowing and brittle at the top and sides. Um, but uh, I don't care. I, I like buying key. I, I like owning um, keys. I don't really care about, you know, the condition to a degree. I, I, I don't want something that's unrecognizable or uh, pages ripped out. It should be intact and I should be able to, to read it, which I'm totally going to do. Sorry, guys. Um, it already has creases in, in the, um, in the side here. Uh, it benefits from, um, being white, but this is like, you can see it's, it's yellowed. Um, but yeah, it, it's, I mean, I just want to own the first appearance of, of, uh, Adam Warlock. I mean, that's good enough for me. Um, so, I mean, you know, there you go. So that's what I got at this comic show. And it was pretty awesome. Um, you know, I got some, some, uh, key stuff, uh, some fun stuff. Um, all in all, it's a great show, uh, and it got more and more and more packed and crowded as, as we were there. Um, and, you know, when we were trying to get out, there was like just a, a sea of people. Uh, and that's good to see because, um, often you go to these things, it's the same faces over and over again. And that's, that really shows, um, how much of a, um, a microcosm, um, comic, comic collecting can be, but, um, I hope it gets more and more. Uh, notice, even though there's mega budget movies out there about comics, but, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is a pretty good one. So there'll probably be a spring show or something like that. We'll go to that as well. Uh, till then, take care.